One of the biggest issues this session, and of course it's a big issue nationally, is whether or not to expand the Medicaid program yes. in order to uh, try to expand the safety net uh, to comply with President Obama's uh, new federal health care law. And to do that in Florida would offer that care to an additional 900,000 to a million people. Uh, Governor Scott said yes to that, at least for three years, when the, it would be funded 100 percent, but both the House and the Senate now have said, nope, not so fast. We want to do our own thing, right. right? Where do you stand and where do Democrats stand on that? Well, we stood with the governor, surprisingly, <laughs> on, on expansion. Uh, but I, I was proud of the Senate. You know, we didn't say no. We're seeing a hybrid. Um, Senator Negron, the appropriations chair, has floated some ideas, and we're discussing it now in the Senate, which would basically expand kid care. Mm -hmm. It would make you Florida's know, program. Yeah, Florida's kid care program, and just open it up to parents now and others to go after that nine hundred thousand. Because as you know, I mean, according to what stats you look at, we're maybe second or third in the nation and uninsured. So using the kid care system that we already have to go ahead and get those people into a um, health care system. Now, we're still figuring out whether we need a waiver, how the feds are going to look at that, because the way that the law is set up now, the feds will take care of uh, uh, most of it for the first three years. We'll take care of all of it for the first three years and then drop down to 90%, and we're still having to pick up 10%. So we got to, you know, we're paying the money already, and we're going to be paying the money. I think where the governor went on this was we're paying the money already. Now, we can either draw that money back down and use it to ensure Floridians. Meaning we're paying into the federal into the federal health care system. Okay. And as one of those, we can either come up with a, expand Medicaid or come up with a system that gets health care out to those that almost a million people or see our dollars that we're paying up to Washington already go elsewhere. And I think uh, the governor made the prudent decision, and I think the Senate is headed towards the prudent decision. We're just trying to pull the House along with us to make sure that we come out of this session with something. Well, uh, one of the questions I have is, will the federal government uh, approve this? I mean, it's kind of radical in, in a sense. Uh, here's a state saying, we kind of want to do our own thing. You know, we want your money, but we kind of want to do our own thing. Uh, we don't want to set up these exchanges necessarily. and. We still want our money, and we want to do it our way with managed care, private insurance, et cetera. Well, it, it's still the same concept. And, it, you know, whatever it takes for them to get over the hump of, of expanding health care, you know, we're going along with. But it's still pretty much Medicaid expansion. It's just not the Obamacare. It's, you know, Florida legislative care somehow. I think the federal government now realized with the resistance of states the federal government's starting to bend a little bit and say, okay, uh, we'll look at your plan. If it gets the objective, we'll go ahead and give the waiver. Okay. So that's interesting to me uh, that there is some support for that uh, program coming out of the Senate. Well, there's support for Medicaid expansion from the Democrats, but if we don't have Medicaid expansion, we're cautiously supporting uh, whatever we come up with that will okay. use the federal dollars to get health care out there. Thank you for that clarification.